Howdy, Howdy Ramblers. Ramblers. I'm Amber. And I'm Eric, and this is another Ramblers Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Pyramid Brewery's Outburst Imperial IPA. So the Pyramid Outburst Imper Imperial IPA is a dry hopped in UPA ale, which means that they put uh, whole hops, is that right, in the fermentation or Just second in stage? The, in the end. The most, most IPAs are dry hopped. Yeah. Um, and they, yeah, they do say that this is their Imperial IPA. And uh, so let's take a look at it. Okay. So it's pretty golden, amber colored, I'd say. When I poured it, there really wasn't much of a head, yeah, just a little bit. Definitely a light amber, sort of a Jurassic Park, mm -hmm. you know, amber. Is there a B in there? And there's a little bit of lacing going on. I'm not sure what the alcohol percentage. 8.5%. That's pretty high. You can definitely tell that there's some alcohol in it. No but gold, it's crystal clear. You can see right through it. Sometimes dry hopping you get a little bit of haze, but that is crystal clear. And there's a little bit of a kind of khaki head, um, but mine's dissipated. Yeah, if you swish it, it kind of shows up, but there wasn't really any head at all when I poured it. Well, let's see how she smells. Mm. It smells like a pyramid. Very beer. fruity. <laughs> Fruit, but pine, but very light. Almost like a winter pine instead of like a hot summery pine. And bright fruit, almost Very, like, like apples grapefruit. or berries. I think I'm thinking of small citrus, so like apples. Well, definitely citrus. Fruit, grapefruit and. Uh, but but sweet fruits too. Yeah, apples, strawberry. Yeah, grapefruit. Not much of an orange. No orange, no lemon, no lime. I'm really getting the pine. Maybe that's the grapefruit I was smelling, and I just kind of. That's why I said it's a winter pine. It's like the pine trees are all covered, ah, and you're not smelling yes. them. Whereas if you're in the summer. And the pine trees are really, like, getting hit by the sun. It's a different smell. Well, it smells great. I'm ready to try it. Okay, let's give it a taste. See how it is? Cheers. Hmm. Nice kick. A lot of bitterness coming through. Very bitter. Very astringent. It's it's front, front to back bitter. Yeah, yeah that's where that tree flavor kind of comes in. You don't really taste the grapefruit as much as you smell it. Yeah, definitely getting kind of a resinous or a pine in the um, in the flavor. I don't know what I'm doing. Here. It's maybe a little bready, a little chewy. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely chewy around the front to middle of the mouth, but it's completely dry and thinned out. I'd say by the time it gets about halfway across your tongue. But it's a good beer. I like it. Get a little. I'm getting a little orange. In the flavor and the taste. Definitely Amer American hop uh, mm -hmm. presence, West Coast, West Coasty there. So what would you rate this? I think I actually probably give it like a three and a half, only because I've had Imperial IPAs that knock my socks off, and this doesn't really knock my socks off. But it's a good drinkable beer, and even for high alcohol, I could probably drink a couple of them. Yeah, I think I agree with you. I give it about a three and a half. Also, um, it's got. It's got some excellent qualities, and then it's got some unbalancedness, too. I think that the way that the bitterness comes through could work in other beers, but it, it, it could almost use some more, maybe, flavor complexity to go with that. Yeah, there's not too many more. levels. <laughs> so for the Pyramid Outburst Imperial IPA, we have a, the same score, so we're going to give it a three and a half stars. And uh, if you've tried this beer, leave a comment and let us know what you think about it. You can uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. We're also on Untapped if you'd like to see what we're drinking. We're Ramblin' Bears on all of those. And that's about it. Until next time. Ramble, Ramble on. on. Cheers. Cheers.